special Sabbath for you today. Uh, we're going to have uh, be welcoming in a couple of precious ones uh, into the family of God. And we're going to have a wonderful ordination service. It's going to be a real high Sabbath today. And uh, as we get started today, I'm going to open with prayer. So if you could just please stand with me as I pray for these wonderful candidates today. Great God and Heavenly Father, what a blessing it is to be here on your Holy Sabbath. Welcome me in, Janai and Lloyd, to the house of God and to the family of God, Lord. We know that as we're on this earth, you called us to be in relationships, not just through this lifetime, but through eternity. And now, Lord, as we uh, dedicate these precious ones to you and their, re their new birth, their rebirth, dear Lord, I also would ask that you would uh, pour out your Holy Spirit upon this part of the service as well as uh, the ordination service uh, this morning. Watch over us now and keep us in you. We thank you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I'm going to call our elder up, Bo. If you'll come up. and uh, I wonder if you folks would come. Janai and Roy, just come forward. and Brother Bo is going to administer the vows for you today. I believe there is one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, a unity of three co-eternal persons. Thank you. I accept the death of Jesus Christ on Calvary as the atoning sacrifice for my sins and believe that through faith in his shed blood, I am saved from sin and its penalty. I renounce the world and its sinful ways and have accepted Jesus Christ as my personal Savior, believing that God, for Christ's sake, has, give, has forgiven my sins and given me a new heart. I accept by faith the righteousness of Jesus, my intercessor in the heavenly sanctuary, and accept his promise of transforming grace and power to, the li to live a loving, Christ-centered life in my home before the world. I believe that the Bible is God's inspired word, the only rule of faith and practice for the Christian. I covenant to spend time regularly in prayer and Bible study. I accept the Ten Commandments as a transcript of the character of God and a revelation of His will. It is my purpose by the power of the indwelling Christ to keep his, this law, including the Fourth Commandment, which requires the observance of the seventh day of the week as the Sabbath of the Lord and a memorial of creation. I look forward the soon coming of, of Jesus and the blessed hope when this mortal shall put on immortality. As I prepare to meet the Lord, I will witness to his loving salvation and by my life and word, help others to be ready for his glorious appearing. I accept the biblical teaching of the spiritual gifts and believe that the gift of prophecy is one of the identifying marks of the remnant church. I believe in church organization. It is my purpose to support the church by my tithes and offerings and by my personal effort and influence. I believe that my body is the temple of the Holy Spirit and will honor God by caring for it, avoiding the use of that which is harmful abstaining from all unclean foods, from the use, manufacture, or sale of alcoholic beverages, 
the use, manufacture, or sale of tobacco in, in, in any of its forms for human consumption, and from the misuse of or trafficking in narcotics or other drugs. I know and understand the fundamental Bible principles as taught by the Seventh-day Adventist Church. I purpose, by the grace of God, to fulfill His will by ordering my life in harmony with these principles. I accept the New Testament teaching of baptism by immersion and desire to be baptized as a public expression of faith in Christ and His forgiveness of my sins. I accept and believe the Seventh-day Adventist Church as a remnant church of Bible prophecy and that the people of every nation, race, and language are invited and accepted into its fellowship. I desire to be a member of this local congregation of the World Church. Brothers and sisters, at this time, I'd like to call the church to order. You've heard the, uh, the commitments of the two candidates. And I would entertain a, uh, a motion that we accept them into our fellowship. I have one, we have others. Is there a second? By a show of hands, will you accept Lloyd and Janiah as brothers and sisters into this church? to share uh, a little bit about my little sister here. She's been coming faithfully to the meetings. Uh, she's really a Bible student too. I have to say that for her. And uh, she was baptized how long ago? Uh, Twelve years ago. Something like Twelve that. years ago, but kind of like me, I, I, I wanted from the Lord. and We, we all kind of took a side trip, didn't we, sis? But uh, when she came back, uh, wild horses couldn't keep you out of this pool today, could they? No, she's determined uh, to dedicate the rest of her life to the Lord Jesus Christ. And it's so wonderful. Isn't it wonderful to have these young people that are going to lead us into the kingdom? Amen. A brand new young pastor that's going to be here at the church. It's an exciting time that we're here for today. And uh, we, I'm sure the church family just wants to join in with the angels of heaven and uh, welcome Janai into the family as we baptize her today. Janai, it's been an interesting journey, hasn't it, that's brought you this far. But I know that you love the Lord Jesus Christ with all your heart and that you want to spend your life serving him. And as a pastor in your church, the Seventh-day Adventist Church, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
Lloyd, you and I have been around the block a time or two, haven't we? Sure have. And as I was talking with Lloyd the other day, uh, you know, he was sharing with me uh, a, a testimony that I, I find common, that many people will come to a meeting like we've just had, but for years prior to that, the Holy Spirit has been working on their hearts. Right. And that was his testimony. He also gave me permission to sell, uh, share another part of his testimony about uh, a special victory that he's had. Yeah. Uh, about a week ago, oh, a little week and a half ago, has it been? Yeah. We uh, anointed Brother Lloyd because he had a problem with smoking. Amen. And uh, the Lord has healed him. He's, he's coming out of this water, a brand new baby, putting that baggage behi behind him. And uh, we're just so thankful for his dedication. And he also, I mean, he's been uh, dedicated to filling out those uh, lessons each night as he comes to the meeting. And we want to thank uh, uh, our brother Ken for uh, spearheading this, set the Bible class. But uh, we're just thankful that Lloyd's here today giving his heart to Jesus and becoming part of the church family here at Panama City. Well, Brother Lloyd, let me pray with you, okay? Okay. Loving Heavenly Father, we're just thankful for the privilege that we have of coming to you in prayer. Brothers and sister in Christ, for Janai and her decision and for Brother Lloyd and his decision. And now as we consummate our relationship with you in this pool, we know that it's just the beginning that you have for us of our ministry for you, to be those reflections of your light to those around us. Watch over us now and keep us in you is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Brother Lloyd, because you have given your heart to Jesus and you love him and he's your personal savior, I have the distinct pleasure and honor of baptizing you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for what we've witnessed here today. Our little sister Janai and our brother Lloyd dedicating their lives to you. And now, Lord, as we uh, come to a conclusion of this part of our service, this special part of our service, Lord, I would just ask if there's anyone in this auditorium today that hasn't surrendered their life fully and completely to the Lord Jesus, Pray that you would contemplate that and pray about it. I pray, Lord, that you know, their, you know who they are, that you would draw them close to you, and that they would come and see myself or Pastor Jay or one of the elders, dear Lord. We thank you, dear Lord, for hearing and answering our prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.